All right, so we got <laughs> sleep, it's not bad. Just death, not and the soul. What happens during sleep? I mean, we dreaming, worse. right? Dreaming happens. Yeah, I've been having dreams recently. Yo, I never have dreams. Like, I do have dreams, but I don't have them as frequently. I had a weird dream last night. So random. Like, it's just the what? randomest thing ever. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'll talk about it after if we... I get uh, frequent nightmares. It's wonderful. It's great, actually. We mm. die every night. Oh, what a start. Mm. We die every night. Our souls, they go to Allah every night. Allah takes the souls every night. Some he keeps with him, some he sends back. Pause. That kind of reminded me of a prayer I used to, used to pray when I was little. It was like, now nah, let me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. That I don't know, that reminded me of that a lot just now. Mm -hmm. Didn't they somebody use that in a song too? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah that sounds mad familiar. I can't believe I remember that still. <laughs> I haven't said that in like twenty years. Oh, you know what? I th I think they also use that like in scary movies. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. Like little girls yeah, yeah. be saying it like yeah. in a creepy tone and stuff like that. Yeah. I think it was what consciousness, your soul. Something like that. One of the reasons why we need sleep is because the soul can't take too much of this. In fact, we know one of the ways they torture people is sleep mm -hmm. deprivation. Mm -hmm. Because the soul, if it stays too long in this realm, in, in the material realm, it begins to it gets psychotic. Facts. It has to go back into the spiritual, into the malakut. It has to get out of the mulk. The what? Allah takes the souls at the time of maut. Maut is death. Okay. والتي لم تمت في منامها and those whose souls are not taken while they are awake Allah takes their souls when they are asleep فيمسك التي قضى عليها الموت when he takes your souls while you are asleep he keeps those souls for whom mouth is written ويرسل الأخرى إلى أجل مسمى and the rest he sends them back for a determined period of time. That's why the Prophet ﷺ taught us, when you get up in the morning, you say, Alhamdulillah alladhi ahyana, ba'dama amatana wa ilayhi. Praise be to Allah, who gave us life after we were dead. We were dead. The souls were with Allah. My own uncle was sleeping next to his wife. Rahimahullah. His wife in the morning, waking him up for the fajr. Dead, dead, the soul didn't come back. So the body has certain rights. Inna li jasidika alayka haqqa. Your body has a right over you. And the right of the body is that we, we eat, we fuel it properly. We exercise it properly. We give it enough so sleep epic. that it needs. <laughs> Abu Hamid al Ghazali uh, says the maximum amount of sleep that you should give your body, the maximum amount is eight hours. That's the maximum. And you should never go more than eight hours. And it actually becomes Oof. negative sleep. Mm. I do that shit almost Oof. every day. More than eight <laughs> hours? Hell yeah. You sleep more than eight hours? For sure. Really? Oh, yeah. How? How? How can you sleep for more than eight hours? My body won't even like I lay there, but my body won't let me go back to sleep. I have to. Tr I might if yeah. I do it, yeah. I'll go back to sleep for maybe like twenty minutes, and then yep. I wake up. It's like my body is like no. Mm. No, nah, I mean it's not like every day, but definitely a few times a week, if I can. If it's <laughs> if, if I can, I will. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ah, no, that's yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. Yo, you seen that video of, of Wiz doing a lie detector test? That's what it felt like, real quick. Really? Uh, no, right now when you were like how, like. Really? I was like, yeah. Uh, like, I was just, I just kept saying, yeah. You, yeah. you seen that clip when he was like, uh, he was talking. The dude asked him like, uh, like how many times he smokes. He's like, do you like in the middle of the night? Oh, he's like, yeah. yeah. He's like in the middle of the night for sure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I, I did see that. <laughs> he kept yeah, saying yeah. Say yes in different ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember that. Uh, <laughs> uh, apparently, apparently. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yo, you see that shit? What? 
Apparently, 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 I never watched that. Oh, the little movie. boy. Yeah, yeah, apparently, yeah, yeah. I never watched live television before. <laughs> I've never been on live television. Uh, apparently, whenever I watch the TV, my grandpa <laughs> says I could just watch the Powerball. <laughs> Yo, shout out to that little kid, man. He's he got great. a mortgage now. <laughs> <laughs> now, just to talk a little bit about sleep, because sleep is nourishment. It is Indeed literally it is. food for the ruh. The body is is um, fed by proteins, carbohydrates, and lipids. But the ruh is fed by zikr and by gnome, by, by remembrance of Allah and by sleep. And that's why the more zikr you do, the less sleep you need. People that do mm. deep zikr actually sleep less than people that don't. This is a fact. Now, the nature of sleep is, if you sleep before 12, and I'm using 12 midnight, not the number 12, like on the clock, but before midnight, if you look, if Fajr's at 4 and Maghrib's at 8, then 12 would be half night, midnight, right? The sleep after Isha, before midnight, is it's worth like context twice that I'm, I'm missing, I feel like. After. Say because now you go to bed at 10.30 and you sleep mm-hmm. till 12, that's the equivalent of three hours sleep. It's only an hour and a half, but because that sleep is before the half night, Oh, it's the is, equivalent of three hours, adding, right? You, so you people, and this is why the sunnah of the Prophet was yeah. to go to bed immediately after I don't Isha. get it, but I'm listening. And it's confirmed if you do it. So now the other thing is if you sleep after Fajr, before Shuruq, it's negative sleep. Negative. So if you sleep an hour, it's as if you were deprived of two hours of sleep. Mm. All right, you won't get rest from it. It's negative sleep. I can see that. Because it's sometimes that I'll sleep, and then when I wake up, I'm tired. But then, like, if I try to go back to sleep, I'll be just as tired, if not even more, more tired. tired. Yeah, it's like, I think, just like that initial tiredness is just kind of like, mm-hmm. it's almost it's almost akin to, like, that cold shower thing that we were talking about before. Like, mm-hmm. it's the first, the first few seconds of it is the worst of it if you if mm-hmm. you take like a really cold shower like i did that today and i'm like yo it's it's brutal it's like it's like one of the most intense feelings that yeah. there is but then once you get past it if you wait like literally like 10 seconds or like yeah. i said give it like 15 seconds you get used to it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It's like fighting through that. I mean, fall. that's the same as like going in, in, in a cold pool or going in the beach in the ocean. Like it's gonna be breaking, then you your body kind of yeah, yeah. It's tough though. That's mm-hmm. that's one feeling I'll say is like like taking a cold shower and then like fighting through tiredness as soon as you wake up. Like very difficult things, but yeah. they it, it's I guess like the most difficult part is the very beginning, and then after it just gets <laughs> a lot easier. I feel like if I had my own place. And I, and I do that, I would just fucking yell at Asa. <laughs> <laughs> just go to sh- the shower. Just, ah! <laughs> like, here. I just gotta, like, just internally, like, yeah. shake and shit. Like, nah, yeah. I don't make a scene. I'd be like, you can't fold. You know, don't be no bitch. That's how you can't be no bitch. Yeah. Literally. I just be, I don't know. I, you gotta mentally take it. But I think all of that really comes down to, like, that that discipline thing. I think that, yeah. that discipline, yo, discipline is like, if you have dis- if you don't have discipline, bro, I feel like you're gonna. Like you're gonna lose. You're just gonna lose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ain't last time we went to the beach and it didn't take you like three hour, three and a half hours to come into the water. Hell yeah. <laughs> but I was in that bitch, son. I was yo. Cause I, I, I wanted, love cold. I, wanted, I love cold water. I wanted to be like hot. That's what it, pisses me off about you, son. Nah, cause the thing about it is too, I got in there mm-hmm. and then my ears get cold and then my head starts hurting. I got sensitive ears. But this is otherwise a great video. Yes. It's very informative. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yeah, pull up to the live streams every Tuesday Word. and Thursday. Um, subscribe and put your post notifications on so you get notified. Yes. Peace.